Here we have a data set. Let's just review. Our data set is given to us in the form of a stem and leaf plot. The stem are the tens digits and the leaves are the units digit. So the stem leaf plot we're looking at represents the numbers from 52 to 98. We're going to take this stem leaf plot and use it as the basis for finding things like the mean, the median, the quartiles, and so forth. So first we'll turn on the TI-83. And we can see that list one has data in it. So we're going to come over and clear list one by putting the cursor on the title for the list, hitting the clear button, followed by the enter key. Next, we'll carefully put these numbers from the data list into our TI-83. Now with the numbers all on the list, it's a good idea to double check. So we're going to come over to list two, which brings us to the top and then come back to list one and we'll use the down arrow to check each one of the numbers and we see that there are a couple of errors here for one the second number 60 has been omitted and the number three should be the number 63 so to remedy that we'll use the insert button and go to the yellow second insert and insert the number 60 and hit enter and now we have the two number 60s which correspond to the two 60s in our data set and to fix the number 3 and make it the number 63 simply put your cursor on the number 3 type 63 and enter as we continue we see that the rest of the numbers in the data set are correctly represented in the TI-83 now we'll go to the home screen by hitting the yellow second and then quit above mode and here we are on the home screen we'll look at the values for the mean the median the standard deviation by going to the stat key and then to the calculate menu and selecting out number one by either hitting number one or the enter key since our data is in list one we'll use the yellow key and the number one to type l1 and when we hit enter here we have the sample mean which is given as x bar of 67.9 the sample standard deviation is 10.92 and change and equal to 20 tells us that the sample size is 20 in other words the number of data values are 20. this down arrow tells us that if we use the blue down arrow on the calculator we have more information available to us and as you go to the bottom you see that the five number summary which are the minimum q1 the median q3 and the maximum are given so if we were asked to find the first quartile the answer would be 59.5 q1 and similarly the third quartile would be 75.5 which is q3 the range of the data we could find by subtracting the maximum minus the minimum and the mid-range we would find by finding the average of the maximum and minimum to find the interquartile range or the iqr we would subtract q3 minus q1 and to find the values beyond which we would find the lower outliers and upper outliers using the one and a half times the IQR rule we would take one and a half times the interquartile range add it to Q3 to find the upper value so that above this value we would have outliers and again taking one and a half times the interquartile range and subtracting it from Q1 we would get the value below which we would find lower outliers extreme outliers are found in the same way by taking three times the interquartile range to give us the upper and lower numbers beyond which we would find extreme outliers
if we were asked to find the variance for this data set, rather than taking the sample standard deviation and squaring it, which could give us incorrect answers if we did any significant rounding of the sample standard deviation, a better way to find the variance is as follows. We will go to the List button, which is found above the Stat key. So we'll use the yellow second key and List. And now we'll go to the Math menu. And at the bottom of the list, which we can get to by hitting the up arrow, we find number 8, the variance. And hitting the number 8, and then putting in the L1 using the yellow second key and the number 1, and hitting Enter, we have the variance. And this number, we might be asked to round off to the tenths place, hundredth place, thousands place, etc. So that is how the TI-83 can be used to find some of the values that you'll be asked in the different questions about data sets.